Hello and welcome once again to CanonBlogger.com, your online resource for everything from Photoshop video, tips and tricks, to camera articles with thoughts, concepts, and ideas relating to photography. Thanks for tuning in, and now for today's video podcast tip. Hello and welcome once again to CanonBlogger.com. Got a quick little news flash for you. Lightroom version 2.0 in beta has been released from AdobeLabs.com. If you go to labs.adobe.com, you can download the beta version. This is a super widescreen edition because I wanted to incorporate both monitors into this so you can get a feel for what's going to happen when you download Lightroom 2.0. Obviously, you're going to have dual monitor support. This is a huge improvement over the last version of Lightroom that people had. It's one of the things I was waiting for before I wanted to go out and purchase the full version myself. Hadn't done that yet. I'd still been operating off of beta and trial versions on my desktop computer. I actually have Lightroom 2.0 beta on here right now. And you'll notice that I do have two monitors going on. Here's how it works. If you click on the Window menu and go to Secondary Display, you can toggle that on and off. When the second display is open, you can have it set so it shows a grid, which is a picture of all, uh, display of all the images in your current collection. It can show you a loop view, where it's going to show you a larger version of the picture that you're looking at right now. And I'll have other options in there as well that you can see from this menu, live loop, locked loop, compare, and survey. The grid is probably the one that I will find most useful because that way I can have my library of images that I'm looking at over here while I'm doing an edit on one of the images over here. It's a very useful feature. Highly recommend you download, download Lightroom 2.0 in Beta Edition right now. A couple great websites you can go to as well. First, go to labs.adobe.com. Then the other place you want to go is to photoshopuser.com forward slash Lightroom 2.0, I think is the website. They've got some great tutorials, some first looks there for you as well. Show you a lot of the key features. One of the features that I'm very excited about myself is the print dialog. When you go into the print dialog for Lightroom 2.0, when you go down to the bottom, you can actually export a print. If you've got a template that you have set up, you can export that to a JPEG if you want to do further editing inside of Photoshop or any other image editing software. Let me go ahead and scroll down to the bottom here so you can see what it's going to look like. This is kind of chugging along here because my processor is screaming at me right now with all the commands that I'm giving it right now. It's saying it wants to go to my Dash Jet 5700. I can not switch that to another printer if I wanted to. But you'll notice down here at the bottom, when you go to print, you can set the printer to a JPEG file and that way you can actually send it out to another image where if you have some kind of template set up or if you've got a layout that you like that you want to print out and edit further in Photoshop, that option is there. Very cool. It also has smart sharpening here, depending on what type of Im how much sharpening you want in your image and what kind of paper you're printing to. It's very intuitive from what I understand. Haven't tried it yet, but it does look very promising. Encourage you, by all means, go out to labs.adobe.com, download Lightroom 2.0 and beta. It's looking very popular. I'm probably going to go out and buy it as soon as the full release becomes available outside of beta. That's today for canonblogger.com. If you have any questions for future tips, tricks, tutorials, and other information, feel free to email. The address, as always, is jason at canonblogger.com. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one. Bye.